think that's something that uh, I really care about, and um, I'm here to help. You know, I'm all I'm all ears, all eyes, all questions. So, um, you know, first and foremost, that's about leading leading by example and, and doing what I need to do every single day, um, and and hopefully that rubs off. You know. Kyle, what are your expectations for your for yourself in terms of what you'll bring to the court this year? Um, you know, I think um, I've had back-to-back -back career years. I don't think I, I don't, I don't see that not happening again this year. And I think uh, last year I had a career year passing the ball, and I think that is my uh, biggest emphasis because I can affect the game in multiple ways, and um, I want to make people better. So, Kyle. Super early to say this is the best group that you've been around, at least in Washington, in terms of chemistry and camaraderie. This is only September. But at which part of the offseason did that become clear to you, whether it was in Miami or in uh, California? But w which part of the offseason was like, yeah, this is uh, this is going to be good? Just a feeling. Um, I'm, I think I'm, I've am i been gifted by God. You know, just, uh, you know, I can read vibes. I can read the room. I can... Um, you know, fill out people just from a vibration standpoint. And I think that, one, we've been together since June because we had Miami, we had Vegas. We had a longer stint in August uh, in Southern California. And um, I just like the vibe that we have. I think everybody gets along, partly also because everybody's like the same age. Um, I'm 29, but I'm, I'm a little bit younger than an average 29-year-old. So. Um, hmm. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Goose, what did you think um, changed with Jordan after the All-Star break in terms of him unlocking more of his, himself? Uh, truly, I, I, no clue, honestly. Um, I think he just um, you know, figured it out on his own. But I can't say um, from last year to over the summer and to now, I think Jordan is a much di different person. Um, I think he's more relaxed. I think he's more at home. I think for him coming to a new situation uh, off the first time of his career was probably really, really hard and a little bit different. And everybody moves and develops at a different pace. So, you know, you got to give people grace in, in, in this world. So um, I love where he's at from a, a mentality standpoint. I think that um, he's Jordan Poole. You know, I don't think last year he necessarily was. He's a little bit quiet, a little bit standoffish, a little bit. And I mean, we have the same agency, and I know for a fact from conversation that was not him. And I think that I see more of what Jordan Poole is now. So, Kyle, Brandon, what PGC, you see right in front of you? Close your How are you feeling? I know you mentioned being 29 years old and the lifespan that you've lived. Uh, what are some keys that you can take away and share with some young people to get to where you are right now? Um, yeah, be yourself, um, be unapologetic, um, you know, um, I think I'm at a place in my life right now where I'm really at peace because, um, you know, I, I try to live my life on my own accord and, um, you know, I I'm not really trying to do things for the attention of others and, um, the opinions of others. And I think that, um, if you do things wholeheartedly and you do things with passion, love, things will vote out for you, so, yeah. Kyle, you talked about your career year last year, but how do you square having a career year individually and then the team not having the success? And when you have moments where you can think about reflection of that, where can you improve upon still having a career year but helping this team kind of take that next step? Um, things you can't control. You can't control a lot, everything. You know, you can have a great game and still lose, right? You can play a great team game is still lose by one at the buzzer. Can't control it, you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I feel like it's like one coming in every single day, doing what you need to do, um, being an example for everybody, setting that tone, and um, letting the chips fall where they may, because, um, you know, it's unpredictable. How you doing, Cruz? Uh, Brandon Scott, Mark on Wizards. Uh, from a leadership standpoint, because your team did it. Um, what sustain do you want to carry over to this new season? And what improvements do you personally want to see with this team? Um, I think uh, last year, if you look at the team, um, 
you know, even having Danny here, um, everybody pretty much on the team got better as the year got on, right? Uh, individually, but the next step for everybody is how do we get better uh, collectively? And I think, um, you know, that's the message that um, everybody around the organization is preaching. Um, you know, if you look at Jordan, he got better throughout the year. Corey had a hell of a year. Then he got better. I got better. Yada, yada, right? So I think that, um, you know, the biggest thing is how can we do it together? Um, how can we play as a team? How can we play in the strength defensively? And, um, you know, how can we uh, learn from our mistakes? First and, foremost, first and foremost, you're looking at how can a team get better yeah. individually. Are we looking at maybe an all-star versus here? What do you think? I mean, I don't know. Truly, I don't know. That's um, another thing that's out of your control, right? Um, you look at my numbers the past two years, you'd probably say, you just looked at them. Oh, that looks like an all-star, right? But um, one, you got to win games. Two, you have to have the media vote for you. So many different things. And I think that... Um, you know, I'm at a place where I'm going out and I'm doing what I didn't do every night, let the chips fall, and, um, you know, I'm at peace at what, whatever happens. I always felt Dave Johnson, Whispers Radio, as you, as you mentioned, you're younger than most the 29 year olds. What do you continue to learn about yourself as, as a person as you go through this challenge with the Wizards, and why do you like this challenge? Uh, because I'm a builder. Um, uh, I'm not the type of person just to like go somewhere just to go somewhere I like I love being here in DC because I feel a part of something I feel a part of building something building a culture and um, you know I'm here to set this franchise up for success um, and, I, and I, I truly believe that and I think that um, you know getting better as, a, as an individual has happened this year but um, it's a lot bigger than me you know, no one's gonna remember me when I'm gone, long and gone, tired, you know, but if I can be here and help sit up a culture and help uh, these young players get better, um, you know, that's what I wanna be remembered for. And I think uh, I have an opportunity to do that. Hey, Kyle, Heather McDonough, NBC4. At what point do you, I guess, get to a place where you want, you say you are a builder, but at the end of the day, you're also a competitor. So you seem very, at, at, like you said, at peace with being a part of something that's building. But then if the losses pile up, I guess, where did you get that inner strength to be this kind of person and this kind of teammate? Well, I mean, it, yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a competitor and yeah, losses can happen. You know, I've lost a lot of years here being here. I lost a lot of years in LA as well. And, um, you know, I, it's not about looking at the tree in front of you, it's more about looking at the forest. And like, that's the mindset I really adopted in life because, you know, storms really come and go and, and shit happens, you know? But, um, you know, you gotta keep your eye on the prize, you gotta stay with it. And I think that um, that's the really only thing that really matters at the end of the day, you know? Because like I said, you can play an amazing game, you can still lose. What does that mean? Real quickly, um, do you, I guess as you get older, lean in onto maybe some of the, the vets that you've been with in the past and think about lessons that you may have just thought about slightly in previous years, but maybe those lessons resonate more as you get older and uh, lean into this role more? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been blessed and I've been extremely grateful to have um, unbelievable vets in my life. Um, you know, figures that have played this game at a higher level than me that I can learn of and I can look at as a North Star. And, um, you know, I don't want to copy them at the same time either. I want to do it my way. And I think um, doing it the right way and um, not skipping steps and um, being that type of person is who I am. Kyle, back over here. The last one. It's always interesting to, to talk to you, always interesting to go on your Twitter. You, um, you're a very interesting cat. It was interesting this summer as you were processing um, the changes in um, both political parties. So I'm just wondering, going into this election cycle, um, what what is your mindset? Um, you know, to be somebody that is, um, I'm very observative as a person, and I think I don't really follow my social norms, and I don't really believe in, um, you know, watching the news and just like believing the news that my great grandmother did and my grandmother did. Um, you know, I like to look at things for what they are and then make my own opinions. And I think that. 
Um, that's what we all should do as um, you know American citizens because it's very important. And um, you know this is an important election, and every important every election is important, and not just the grand scheme of things because. Um, that's not even just the biggest thing. It's about the local things, the regional things, the state senates, the houses, the governors. And I think that um, it's extremely important to make your own opinions in this world because, um, you know, a lot of people try to cloud that.